What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another football video. Today we're going to be doing my Premier League predictions ahead of match day number 7 in the Premier League before we head into yet again another international break. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on social media links, they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my big up, on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok, email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, 100 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below including your score prediction ahead of match day number seven in the Premier League. Finally, I want to say a big thank you to SofaScore, today's video sponsor, who are going to keep you guys up to date with all the latest scores along with the latest match information, match statistics, match analysis and so much more. It's a free app to download, worthwhile checking out, very highly rated and anyone that does download using my link in the description or the QR code on screen does help to support the future content created here on my channel so match day number six first in the premier league i managed to get a couple of correct scores four correct results along with four incorrect not too shabby scored myself five out of ten the two that i got correct was brentford's one all draw at home to west ham and i also had everton down with a 2-1 win against crystal palace i've got both of them spot on they had arsenal to win 4-0 that finished 4-2 at home to leicester city arsenal just about got the job uh, job done uh, needed a couple of very late goals in that game to beat leicester after the stage a great comeback after being 2-0 down to pull it back to 2-2 i had chelsea down as a 2-1 uh, win against Brighton that finished 4-2 another good result for Chelsea who are the title threats let me know in the comments uh, I also had Liverpool down with as their uh, 3-1 winners they won by two goals to one so weren't too far away uh, on some of them uh, on others just uh, completely miles away including a 0-0 draw for Man United Spurs and that finished 3-0 to Tottenham Hotspur which me being a City fan I find pretty funny Anyway, moving on to match day number seven in the Premier League games taking place over the weekend of the 5th and 6th of October. So starting on the 5th of October, uh, we're going to speak about Crystal Palace's match against Liverpool at Selhurst Park uh, in the early kickoff at 12.30pm BST with the game being broadcast live on TNT Sports. Can't see anything other than Liverpool winning that game, if I'm being completely honest. I think it might be both teams to score. I think Crystal Palace will try and make things happen against Liverpool. I think Liverpool will have far too much quality got off to a really good start sitting top of the Premier League and I think they're going to sit top of the Premier League heading into the international break as well and putting pressure onto those below them as well as Liverpool go first uh, and I'm going with them to get the three points going for a 3-1 win there for Liverpool now moving on to the 3pm games got several big teams to playing at 3pm Arsenal uh, first and foremost they are at home against Southampton going with an Arsenal 4-0 victory once more again just like last weekend in the game against Leicester City I think Arsenal are going to be too strong for newly promoted Southampton just like they were last week in being too strong for newly promoted Leicester City and once more I'm going with a 4-0 victory for Arsenal now Brentford in West London taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers Wolves haven't got off to a very good start at all uh, and I can see Brentford showing the quality keeping it a very close tight game but Brentford edging this game and I'm going with a big three points there for the Bees and going 1-0 Brentford uh, Leicester City got a very big game at uh, the King Power Stadium taking on AFC Bournemouth I'm going with a one all draw for this one I wouldn't rule out Leicester potentially sneaking this one. Big game for them at home against Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth are pretty decent. They're a decent team. I think they're capable of getting a result from Leicester. Couldn't really split these two sides. So I'm going with a score draw and going with one all. Now Manchester City take on Fulham. Fulham are in good form. I don't think this is going to be an easy game for Manchester City. So I'm wondering can Fulham spring a surprise on City? They've only lost uh, once this season in the Premier League and that came in the first game of the season away against Manchester United and Man United in that game needed a very late winner in that game as well so they're a difficult team to break down they're a difficult team to, to beat and um, Manchester City do sometimes struggle against teams that know how to defend deep and defend well and can attack as well I just think City are going to have too much quality in the end not going for a classic going for a 2-0 victory 
for Manchester City. And then moving on to East London, you've got West Ham United taking on Ipswich Town. And I'm going with West Ham to get a needed three points at home because I think they're going to be too strong for Ipswich and going with a 2-1 win for West Ham. But the game being both teams to score. Now the final game on Saturday in the early evening kickoff at 5.30 p.m. BST with the game being broadcast live in the UK on Sky Sports. You've got Everton taking on Newcastle at Goodison Park and I'm going with Newcastle to pick up the three points away from home not been all that impressed with Everton uh, I thought it was a must win game for them at home last weekend against Crystal Palace they've got the three points I don't think they're getting three points from this game though going with a 2-1 win for Newcastle close game but Newcastle edged this one for me and take the three points now moving on to the final three games on Sunday starting off with Aston Villa taking on Manchester United at Villa Park Villa are going to be on top of the world after their win against Bayern Munich midweek. They might have a bit of a hangover, but if they don't and they do turn up and play to the best of their ability, I don't see anything other than Aston Villa winning this game. This game kicking off at 2pm at BST. Game being broadcast live on Sky Sports and I'm going 2-0. Aston Villa. Now Chelsea are taking on Nottingham Forest. That's also at 2pm but not being broadcast live in the UK. I'm going with an entertaining game because Nottingham Forest away from home always seem to try uh, and be entertaining and make things happen. So I'm going for them to try and attack Chelsea, cause some issues and it will cause some issues. And I'm going with a five goal thriller going 3-2 Chelsea. Chelsea to edge that. And I'm going with a late goal for them as well to win that game going 3-2 to Chelsea. And then in the final game at 4.30pm BST live on Sky Sports You've got Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Tottenham Hotspur at the Amex Stadium down on the south coast. And I'm going for a score draw for this one. Couldn't really split the two sides here. Tottenham played a very good game last weekend away at Manchester United. Brighton are a very good team in particular at home as well. Couldn't separate these two sides, so I've gone with a one-all draw. So there we go. That has been today's Premier League prediction video. Do let me know your predictions, guys, in the comments below. Do leave a thumbs up as well. 100 likes is the aim. Do also subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Social media links, there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Do go and check out my big up as well doing some streams over there including my match analysis after every single city game so do go and check that out that would be great it is free to join and become a member of my channel that would be brilliant and also don't forget to go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by sofa score see you all again tomorrow for the next video so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now